What's going on guys today? I'm going to do a quick review of this dog kennel by Yahi Tech that we've got recently. In this video, I'm going to talk about everything you need to know about this dog kennel slash dog fence. And I will also let you know one thing I think you should know before buying. So we chose to get this because uh, we have a little pug. It's not a ton of room. We didn't get a lot of room here, uh, but these are very, very expandable, by the way. All we have to do is buy more of these little segments here if we do want to expand it. Um, but we bought them for our backyard basically because our fences, you know, she squeezed through the uh, fence a few times and we don't want that to happen again. So these are basically made, all these panels are made of uh, metal and they have a black powder coating to help prevent rust. Um, and so far we haven't had any issues with rust, nothing like that. Uh, these are well made, they're sturdy. This isn't plastic or anything cheap like that. This is actually metal as well, um, these in-between. So if your dog likes to try to escape, uh, that's something to know is that it will be difficult to do. And I do wanna note that we got a very, very small version of this, right? Um, they do get much taller. They get up to, I believe it's 40 inches. Um, and they sell them in panels. I believe it's 16 panels all the way up to 32. Um, so like I said, you can expand on this, but these can also get a lot taller. We just chose a smaller one because we have a smaller dog uh, and it's really not much of a problem. Now, in terms of securing this to the ground, it's pretty easy. Um, so we have turf, so we aren't able to do it here, but it's you know heavy enough to where she's not gonna be able to move it because we just have a pug. But basically these little spikes here, um, assuming this is grass, you, you essentially just push down hard uh, and then it would dig into the grass and actually kind of anchor it to the ground. One important thing and one of the reasons why we got this so you see how this is rounded here this may not seem like a big deal um, and you may just think like yeah whatever it's just the thing to hold them together uh, which it is it does hold the the segments together this rounded part is important though because our dog tends to kind of stand up on our hind legs and kind of paw at this uh, and if this is like a spike or sticks up or has any sharp edges at all she could really hurt her paw which she actually did previously um, in a different uh, dog fence that we had so that's a nice nice little thing uh, attention to detail there that we like in terms of the assembly guys this was super easy to put together uh, probably took me like I don't know maybe five ten minutes basically you just have the segments of the fence you drop these guys in between and you connect them all super super easy in terms of the thing to know so I think this might only be for our dog because she's very pampered but uh, when we open this the one issue that I've kind of noticed is that this right here she's very hesitant she's she gets in and out herself but she kind of looks at it and is like super hesitant to jump over this. It's really not that tall. I mean, it's maybe five inches, possibly six, really not that tall, but she's just a little bit hesitant about it. Um, but really that's the only thing I'd have to say that you should you know, be aware of if you have a smaller dog like us. If you have a bigger dog, not gonna be a problem. So yeah, guys, overall, we really, really like this a lot. Um, it's lasting really, really well. We think that's very durable and uh, we have plans to, you know, possibly expand this and maybe even attach it to our fence as well. So if you're thinking about buying it, we definitely recommend it.